absolutely love that space. It is so warm and sunny. You can welcome Jennifer Flores. She's from the Taylor. She's here with us live in studio. And you know, you've been doing do it yourself for quite some time, haven't you? Yeah, since we bought our house, uh, and since I started the blog about five years ago, yeah. we've been documenting our room by room renovations and our DIY projects like this one today. I think it's amazing because there's so many people watching, they don't necessarily have the budget to go out there and buy everything new. So you go trolling at the Salvation Armies and the Goodwills yep. and you get these pieces and you bring them home and you refurbish them because you've just got the touch. So we're going to teach folks how they can do something like this at home. Yeah. So th what do you use this for? So this is a costume closet we made for our daughter Chloe, who's so three years old. Yeah. yeah. We actually have a picture of Chloe who has a good time uh, in this little Disney. She Look does. at her. <laughs> <laughs> cute she loves it in there doesn't she does she? she loves hiding in the clothes and yeah. pulling things out so it's a lot of fun for her now a lot of people would be surprised to hear that this actually started looking like this so this so many people make. have this piece from the 70s or what yeah. have you in their home sitting there gathering dust they're not sure what to do about it why not make something new what's exactly. the first thing you need to do with this to get started so first you want to look for solid wood construction so something that's going to stand up to the wear and tear of your child and it's not going to fall apart too easily right then you want to look at the dimensions of it this one is just under three feet which is a great height for my little three-year-old mm -hmm. um, and also you want to look at the depth and make sure it's deep enough for a hanger to go in so about 20 inches is what you're looking at okay so it's the perfect dimensions okay. now we've got to take now these, take out, these drawers out okay I'll Close take that and I'll take that. And the last one. It really takes an eye, I've got to say, because most people would look at this and they say, okay, well, what am I going to do now? But you yeah. looked at it and thought automatically, do I take this one out? We can leave that one in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> automatically, don't do that. Automatically, this is going to be something that you can do for your kids. Now, exactly. you don't have these in. Right, so the last these? thing you want to look at is how the, it's actually constructed. Okay. And you're looking at these drawer glides and making sure it's not part of the frame that you yeah. can easily remove it. So I've popped one off over there and there's a little bit of patching that needs to be done. Not a lot of work. It's just okay. a little rough. So that's right here. And how did you do the patching? So you're just going to use a spackling compound and okay. this one's called DAP and uh, very easy. Yeah. It goes on pink and it dries white. So you'll we'll know. just show folks what that looks like. Yeah. And so that, I mean, that's fairly easy, right? Not yeah. a lot of time. Okay, good. You'll just see so that. So you've done that. You've let it dry. What's our next step? Next step, you're going to get um, a shelf. And you can get this pre-cut at the hardware store to your dimensions. Yeah. Just a sheet of MDF. Okay. Cut Are to we going to put this in? Sure. Okay, so let's take all this stuff off. And by leaving the last drawer gl glide, very simple, it just fits right in there. Oh, perfect. Okay. Perfect little space. Okay, so easy to get this cut whatever size you need. Easy. Yeah, okay. simple. Excellent. And the last finishing touch is just a piece of trim. So we've got a little one right there. Again, they'll cut this for you at the hardware store. And, and that just right finishes here. up the edges and makes it look nice and neat. You adhere that with some carpenter's glue. Yeah. And once everything's done, give it a quick sanding. Uh, and then you're ready to paint. So primer, two coats of latex paint, uh -huh. and a water-based varathane to make it nice and durable for the kids. Okay, so you didn't do a spray, you actually painted it, right? We, we sprayed it. You did spray home. it, because a but lot of people do that. But you can paint it, it's not difficult at all. I love that. How long does it take to dry? Um, give it a good day. Okay, all right, all right. leave it outside for a day, yeah. and you get this gorgeous and masterpiece here is over here. Now you've also yeah. added some extra little touches here. That's right. You've got this going on at the side. So this we've got nice. some hooks on the side yeah. for accessories. Very good. And uh, we'll show some of the things here. But first you want to dress up the inside as well, right? So we've done decorative gift wrap paper. And there's oh lots smart. of options out there. And how does that, is it, does it have an adhesive on the other no, side? No, all you use is uh, spray glue. So oh. that would be great for a little boy's room. Very nice. Right. All different Pick patterns here. Pick their favorite here. colors. Oh, that's great. Right? Yeah, I love it. Okay, so you, did she help you pick? Because you picked a good one. She didn't, actually. She did not. That's <laughs> well, okay. Well, it's her favorite color, so I picked she that She loves one. yellow. Yeah. You can okay. use anything, really. Scrapbooking paper. Oh, little ladybugs. Remnants of wallpaper. Yeah. Just uh, put, adhere that in there. Okay, so now let's dress it. we got to yeah. put some costume stuff Absolutely. in here. This is the fun part. So here is a great little mirror. This will go on this side. Okay. So she might want to see herself, how she looks in exactly. her different costumes. And then you've got all sorts of little... Uh, Bumblebee costumes We've got and all her boas favorite things. and all the fun stuff. Oh, look at this. Can I try this on a little bit later? <laughs> Do you, what? No, I guess not. Okay. Ask me that. Oh, so cute! Superhero cape. This is why I wanted a girl, everyone. <laughs> oh, so adorable. A little little tutus. Oh, I am going to try this on, actually. 
Love that. And your feather boas. Oh, and a little boa. Fantastic. And then you can do this on that side. You can hang up some neckties. Very fun. Some necklaces. Because, you know, you need to dress up with, like, however you want. There you go. And some necklaces. Okay, good job. I'm impressed, Jennifer. Good job. Simple. Easy. Fantastic.